Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see I'm filming in my room today because I haven't filmed pretty much all summer and I really have been needing to film but I haven't filmed because the kids are home from school of course for the summer and you guys know I don't like to film in front of the kids so we're filming in here. <laughs> um, so I got my BoxyCharm and my Ipsy for the month of June. And yes, BoxyCharm is back. I'm just going to do these in one video. So let's jump right in. Start with Ipsy. And this month's theme is Rebel Rebel. I think that's the theme. It says tag Ipsy says you're it. so cute. Misfits, Rule Breakers, Badass Babes, The Riot starts this June. You're hitting the streets. We're hitting the streets with serious sizzle and signature looks. Coloring outside of the lines is encouraged. Sitting on the side of the lines is not. Cute. And the bag is really, really cute this month. I love this. I don't know. Maybe it's, that's my childish side coming out, but I just think it's really cute. <laughs> Okay, let's see. The first thing I see when I open the bag, which is purple inside, which purple is my favorite color, so not going to complain about that. First thing I see is a lip gloss by Be A Bombshell, and it is in secret. Let's open it and swatch it for you guys if I can get it open. Oh my goodness. Oh, by the way, happy Father's Day to any fathers who might be watching this video. I hope you're with your kids today and having a fun-filled day. Oh my gosh, these are so hard to open. You know what? I'm just going to rip into it. Just get it out there. <laughs> I hate opening these. Am I the only one that hates trying to open packaging? Okay, so yes, it is a lip gloss, and this is the color. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's not even like a lip gloss to me. It's more like a, like, liquid lipstick. It says, Pout Potion in secret via Bombshell Cosmetics, and that's all it says. It has no, like, ingredient list or anything like that. You know what? Let's just pop it on. I'm just going to use you as a mirror. That looks really pretty over what I'm wearing, which is an Ofra lip color, and I don't know the color, so sorry. <laughs> Smells. Am I tripping? Ooh. It smells like vanilla. Like, not overpoweringly strong like vanilla, but smells really good. So there's that. Okay, the next thing I see is by Urban Decay, and it is an eyeshadow, Fireball eyeshadow. Is Fireball the color of the eyeshadow? I don't know. Let's... Ooh, that's tiny. Oh my goodness, that is so t teeny tiny. I guess Fireball is the color of the eyeshadow. Let's swatch it for you. Please excuse if my phone starts to buzz, but... I am have, oh my god, that's so pretty. I have plans with my love today and our kids. That's so pretty. It's not coming off on camera at all like it is in person. It's almost like a nude color, in my opinion. And then when you move it around, you get like hints of purple and a little bit of orange. Like, it is so pretty. I wish I would have opened this before I did my makeup today because I totally would have worn that today. So there's that. Oh, I wish you guys could really see like it goes from like a purple to an orange to a pink. So pretty. So there's that. Let's see if I can get it back in the packaging like they had it. Ha! Huh. Right. Nope, I put it in upside down. Um, I do not own a Z palette or anything like that, so I have no idea how I'm going to store this baby, but we will figure something out because that is really gorgeous. Probably just stuff it in an old makeup palette or something. 
Okay, next thing I see is by Formula X. Isn't that normally a nail polish brand? It is a nail color. That is so tiny, it's so teeny tiny. Oh my gosh. Open that baby up. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god, it's so tiny. It is in the color Wing Woman, and it's so cute. Like, I'm like, am I the only one that freaks out over teeny tiny packaging? I just love miniature stuff. I will not paint this on my nail today, but here's what the color looks like. And it's coming off more red on camera, but it's more like a really, really, really deep hot pink. Like a bright, deep hot pink. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell on camera, but it's so teeny. Like, tiny. Okay, <laughs> next thing is by Hey Honey, and it says, Hey Honey 24-7 Honey Day and Night Moisturizing Cream enriches and revitalizes face, neck, and eye contour for all skin types. Awesome sauce. I love getting moisturizers. You guys know I have, like, really, really horribly dry skin. Oh, it's got one of those little tabs on it. Okay, let's try this puppy out. I have perfume on today, so I have no idea if I'm going to be able to even smell this. It smells, it feels really silky, I guess you could say. Oh my gosh, that smells really good. It smells like, like aloe or something. That kind of smells like aloe. I don't know. Let's see, is there aloe in this? It does not have the ingredients, but it says... 24-7 is a rich cream that is neither greasy nor sticky and is ideal for use on face, neck, and even the eye contour areas. Use on delicate areas that are commonly the first to demonstrate signs of aging to prevent dryness that causes wrinkles. So there's that, and I really love the way this smells. It smells like something I know, like it's going to bother me. I, like I'm never going to figure it out, but it's going to bother me. Like aloe, like fresh like, if you guys have ever smelled, like, a fresh aloe when you open up your plant, cut it open, and it has the aloe inside, it smells like fresh, fresh aloe. It makes me think of summer. Okay, the last thing in my bag is... I'm confused. I don't know. It says, everything balm. Plumps, pouts, seals, split ends, glosses, softens heels, <laughs> lips, tames brown brows, conditions cuticles, pops cheekbones, brightens dark circles, nourishes dryness, delectable brilliant, bottled brilliance. What the frick? <laughs> what? I don't know. It doesn't even have like a description. And it's in sweet cream. I'm assuming this is like an everywhere on your body kind of moisturizer or something. It's got a feel. Ooh. Oh, God. That smells so good. Let's put it on my other hand so I don't mix up the smells. Okay, it feels like Vaseline, and it looks like Vaseline, but it smells so good. Oh, my good. It smells like the scent is sweet cream, but it smells like candy to me, like, like almost a fruity candy. I don't know. That smells really good. Okay, let's put all that back in the bag and move on to BoxyCharm. And unfortunately, I have no idea what the value of this bag was this month because I did not look it up or anything like that. And they don't ever put descriptions on the card, which I wish they would start doing that. I really do. That smells really, really good. I can smell it from, like, here. It doesn't smell like... I could put that on my lips, but then at the same time, I could put this on my hands and I would still like it. Sorry, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm not looking where I should be. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay, this is what the box looks like this month. And it says girls just want to have sun. Oh, that's so cute. It says salt in the air and sand in our hair. Cute. And then everything is of course on the back of the card with prices and I will go through it as I go through the box. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing I see is by Cougar Beauty Mineral Face and Body Shimmer. This box, can I just show you guys? Oh my god, this box is like 
packed this month. And this is the first thing on the list. We're going to do it that way this month. Okay, Cougar by Paula something. Doesn't say. Okay, anyway, it says, full size, of course, this mineral face and body shimmer is formulated using feather-like shimmering mi minerals, adding a radiant sparkle when lightly brushed anywhere on the body. Oh, great for adding a little extra sparkle to any look. Let's open it and see what it is. Yeah, it looks like a little jar of powder. This is what it looks like. And it says QB. Oh. Ooh. There's like a little sticky dab on here or something. It's one of those like things, but it's got a sticky cover. Unless I'm tripping and I'm about to like break it. And of course, there's no freaking tab to pull it off. Oh, I just got it everywhere. Oh my god. Okay, so when you're opening this, be careful because it goes freaking everywhere. Oh my god. That is messy. Like, it's all over my hands. Crap. Okay. This is what it looks like when you swatch it on your finger and it doesn't really look shimmery to me at all. It looks, you know, but once you get it on the skin, it gives you like a nice glow. It feels very drying though, I have to say, which is kind of, I don't know, just can you tell that I have that on my hand, which is kind of bad for me because my skin is really awfully dry. So that's what it looks like. And then if you rub it in, like you can't even really see it. Like, I don't know, maybe, it, I guess it does give a little bit of a faint gold shimmer. That's what it looks like on my finger. I don't know. I don't know. I will try it out, but I really hope it doesn't dry out my skin awful. Like, it's hard to get on. Um, anyway, I hope it doesn't really horribly dry out my skin because my skin is already really dry and sometimes if I use powders, certain powders will make my skin look really gross and dry. Like, I struggle severely with dry skin. It's awful. Okay, the value of that is $16. Oh my god. $16. <laughs> yes. Okay, the next thing I see is from Pharmacy. And it is this giant thing. And it's the Coconut Gel Mask Medley 3 Pack. This coconut gel mask provides intensive hydration and restores the skin's natural balance, helping even skin tone and improve overall clarity. I'm assuming these are says naturally de derived ingredients free of parabens, free of formaldehyde, free of artificial coloring, not tested on animals. Awesome. Super. Open. Oh, cute. It just comes in this little box. And pull your masks out. If I can get them out. And you get three. And they are all the hydrating coconut gel mask. I'm so excited. I love freaking sheet masks. I love sheet masks, guys. Because my skin is so dry. I would I literally would use one every single night if I could afford to do that. <laughs> it says this unique mask combines the power of oh, I'm gonna butcher this. Echinacea green envy <laughs> and farm fresh extracts activated by a biocellulose sheet of unprecedented structure and design, the most finely spun sheet mask available. This coconut gel mask retains active ingredients at maximum levels for more efficiency, effectively delivering a targeted and first of its kind skincare experience. I'm sorry, I was so distracted by the little pictures down below. And it gives you like pictured instructions. How cute. I already know how to do that, but you know, so you get three of those and they're really thick and like they feel really nice. So I'm excited to try that. I might try one tonight. Who knows? Psh. Put back in the box. Okay, and then it's got like a little reposable box. It's cute. Awesome. I'll be using one of those tonight, hopefully. Okay, the next thing I see, we're only on the third thing. Oh, the price of that is $24. And it looks like it was only made for boxy charms. I don't know if it says 
made exclusively for box and chat, not for resale. So I don't know. I'm assuming you probably just buy them separately online or whatever. And the full price of that was $24. The next thing I see is by Galactic. Precise eyeliner marker in full size. This precise marker eyeliner soft and precise tip is designed to create the perfect dramatic line. I just got lip gloss or something all over this card. Like, am I tripping? Did I put this on my mouth? Apparently I did. Uh, da, 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 dramatic line. The formula is weightless, long-lasting, water-resistant, smudge-proof, and lies comfortably on the eye with no pulling or tugging. We will see about that. This is what it looks like. This little eyeliner. Straw line. Ooh, this little tip is very bendy. So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll do the smudge test and the waterproof test because I don't believe it. I never believe it. And the price of that is $20. Ooh, for $20 it better be waterproof. Okay. The next thing I see is <laughs> another nail polish by LVX. This long-lasting, chip-resistant, and gel-like formula is free of the five toxic and harsh chemicals found in most common nail lacquer formulas. LVX is devoted to providing you with top quality, socially responsible, and vegan-friendly products. Thank you, LVX. This is what it looks like. And it is $18 for now. Oh, yikes. $18? I believe I've had an LVX, or maybe it was a Formula X. I don't know. I I think it's LVX. I'm pretty sure I have one of these nail polishes already, and I don't think it's very chip resistant. I don't I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I got the color Serene. Okay, the little <laughs> cap is there for decoration, I suppose, because I can't twist it. So let's see. This is what it looks like. It's like a flat out baby blue. Like, there's no other way to describe it. Just a baby blue. Maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny smidgen of lavender looking in there. I don't know. Am I tripping? If anyone else got this, let me know if you think there's a tiny bit of lavender color in there. Into the baby blue. I could be tripping. Okay. The last thing is by Ofra. Yay, I love Ofra. <laughs> Oil control pressed powder. Ooh, I have very dry skin. This oil control pressed powder was designed to keep your makeup intact all day. Perfect for oil control, suitable for sensitive skin. Let's see if this works for me because most of the time pressed powder just makes my face look cakey and I don't like that at all. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I love Ofra so much. And it's like white. Oh my god, darling. That is so white. Let's see what it looks like when I swatch it. It's white. Uh, I'm gonna have to swatch it on my wrist. Can't even like tell. White powder. Very smooth. Like I don't know. It's not. I just got on my nose. I'm good. Okay, well, um, I'll try that out because, I mean, there's really nothing I can say about it on on camera. I mean, first impression-wise, it looks like a white powder, <laughs> a white pressed powder. I don't know. I feel like that's going to be really, really, really light for me. I'll try, like, under my eyes and see if, I don't know, see if that works. Um, but that's pretty much it. Oh, eyeliner. Um, this is what the eyeliner looks like when it's dry, and as you can see, it has bled quite a bit, like all over the place. See that? I just drew like a straight line, and it bled all through my skin, so I don't like that. Um, let's smudge it. I do this with all my eyeliners. Yeah, not smudge proof. A little bukkake there. I mean, I'll lightly smudge it and see. So if you're wiping your eyes all day... That she is not smudge proof. It's gonna move. Let's try the waterproof test. Sanitary. Uh, definitely not waterproof either. I mean, there you have it. I'll try it anyway and see if I like it. But you know, because I'm not gonna let it go to waste. But so far, 
I like everything in the box. I don't know. Um, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I don't know if I'm going to like on first impression. Like the gel masks and this white pressed powder. We'll see. We will see. I'll try everything and let you guys know in some video later this month if everything worked for me and if I like everything. And then we'll see. This video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to let you guys go and get on with my Father's Day stuff that I'm doing. Um, I don't know. You guys should give me some suggestions for videos to do because I'm a little like, ooh, I don't know what to do <laughs> this summer for videos. Um, so leave a comment in the section comment section below and let me know if you guys have any suggestions for specific videos that you'd like me to do or specific topics you'd like me to talk about or anything like that and i will see you guys soon thanks for watching